Welcome to my video on how to build and create custom pages in Thinkific Site Builder. Uh, this is an important sort of like tutorial that will help you so that you can build out different pages that will enhance uh, your online teaching business, enhance your brand, just because the idea of a landing page is not sometimes enough to sort of share with people what uh, your company and your mission is about. And so adding custom pages will allow you to sort of build out different pages, kind of like a website. The idea is that you can use Site Builder as a website. Uh, you don't necessarily need to go purchase a membership for uh, Squarespace or WordPress or uh, Wix. Uh, everything that you need to build out your teaching website and teaching business website can be done in Thinkific. And that custom pages are similar to any other website in which you see tabs for like frequently asked questions, tabs for like different content, uh, the same applies here. So, and the other point I wanna make is that you can make um, a diff pages for different landing pages. And so I can create different pages for a uh, public landing page and I can create custom pages uh, for a private landing page. And this is gonna be useful to you if you're going to be selling your courses, not just to the public, but also to corporations and other organizations. You may want to have specific uh, content and uh, tabs and links for your public site. And you may want to have specific links and tabs and information for your private site. Uh, the reason for this is you may not have information that you want to share uh, with either or, and this allows you to be a little bit more flexible. So if I were, so I've started to build two kind of demo pages, but if I want to build another page, I can just click on here, add custom page, and let's just call this FAQs. Um, this is great because a lot of times people who come to your course and buy from you have a lot of questions, and your FAQ page can allow you to sort of front load all those potential questions for your customer and address them in one area. So I'll just click on add. And now I see the FAQs uh, has been created. Now here is where the beauty of the FAQs page is that I can continue to modify this and sort of brand this uh, according to my own course brand or whatever your course brand might be. And it gives me a lot of flexibility to sort of customize and play around with it. So here the header right now is a default. It has a, you know, this is the current image. But if I want, I could take an image from my desktop or I can even go on the internet and search for hero image and gives me a lot of image to uh, play with. And I can just pick one for demo purposes, purposes here and just upload it. And again, as with other uh, demos I've shown, you can customize the video, uh, the image and make it uh, wider or longer. So uh, the idea is that you choose uh, how you want it to look like. Um, and if you don't want an image, you can just take out the image. Uh, but there's so many different ways, and this is just one way that you can play around with it. Um, and then the other option is you can link uh, this to another page. And so if I want to make this landing page, uh, specifically a checkout page, then I can link it to a checkout page. Uh, but for this purposes, I'm just going to keep going with how to design um, your FAQ page. And I can also uh, go ahead and you know decide, do I want the background solid? Do I want it transparent? And um, so the idea is, you know, I want to sort of play around and see what looks good and just have fun with it. Uh, the most important thing is that to really, you know, uh, add whatever sort of matches what uh, my brand is because some people uh, want to make everything look consistent and the consistency will really show users who you are about and what your course business is about. And then you can add this uh, menu label, uh, which will be really helpful because a lot of people will access your course on the mobile site and you want to be able to enhance the user experience for the mobile users. And then uh, the other aspect that will be helpful is the blocks. Uh, you can add links. 
And so if I can, I can sort of link this to all the courses and I can create custom URL and really just sort of play around and really build out this um, page further. And then if I like all these changes, then I can click save. And if I don't want this uh, link here, I can delete this block and just stick with the default um, landing page that's on Site Builder. The most important thing to understand about Thinkific is that each sort of landing page, uh, these are set up in blocks and each block can be customized. So right now we're only customizing the default uh, header uh, block. And if I want to continue to make more changes, I can continue uh, further down and play with the banner and change the hero image. Uh, let's say I don't like that image at all and I just want to go with the blank color, then it'll go with the blank color. Uh, and then I can even change the colors transparency to make it lighter or darker. Um, just, you know, explore. I think that's the best way to uh, get to know Thinkific. And then if I don't like the size, I can, you know, move it around to center. Um, but there is no image, so it doesn't really make a difference at this point. And then I can add more buttons um, and sort of call to action is normally we see at the end. Uh, but if I want to add a call to action and really grab someone's attention, I can add that button early on here. And then that button can be customized. I can say call to action or I can say buy now, depending on uh, what my marketing and sales strategy might be. And I can link this to my checkout page to sort of, you know, grab and focus on the sales aspect of my landing page sooner rather than later. So I hope this video was helpful. And if you have any questions or comments, I'll leave, leave your comments and questions in below. And if you have any requests, I'm happy to make more videos as well. Thanks for watching.